production possibilities frontier is the maximum combinations of two or more goods an economy can produce with limited resources and constant technology. Let's walk through a simple example. Our simple economy produces only cars and computers. Suppose that the economy can produce 3,000 computers when it uses all of its resources to make computers. However, when the economy uses all of its resources to make computers, it has no resources available to produce cars, and therefore cannot produce any cars. Suppose the economy can produce 1,000 cars when it uses all of its resources to make cars. If the economy uses all of its resources to make cars, it cannot produce any computers. Now what would happen when the economy uses one half of its resources to make computers and one half to make cars? The economy would produce less than 1,000 cars and less than 3,000 computers. Let's suppose that the numbers are 600 cars and 2,000 computers. Finally, consider what would happen if the economy uses three quarters of its resources to make cars and one quarter of its resources to make computers. The economy would produce between 600 and 1,000 cars and between 2,000 and zero computers. Let's suppose that the values are 900 cars and 1,200 computers. We can summarize these combinations in a table. The rows of the table show the combinations of cars and computers possible as the economy reallocates its resources from 100% for computers to 100% for cars. We can plot these points on a graph. Since the number of cars and computers cannot be negative, we will use only the top right quadrant of the normal XY graph. When we measure computers on the vertical axis and cars on the horizontal axis and connect the four points with straight lines, we obtain this graph. The production possibility frontier illustrates well the opportunity cost paid by an economy when it reallocates its resources to produce more of one good and less of the other. When an economy is on its production possibility frontier, the opportunity cost it pays when it obtains more of one good is a reduction in another good it can produce. When the economy moves from point A to point B, the number of cars increases from zero to 600, and the number of computers decreases from 3,000 to 2,000. Therefore, the opportunity cost of these 600 additional cars is 1,000 computers. Division tells us that the opportunity cost of each extra car over this range is 1,000 computers divided by 600 cars, or 1.67 computers per car. The opportunity cost of increasing the number of cars from 600 to 900 is 2,000 computers minus 1,200 computers, or 800 computers. The opportunity cost per car as the number of cars increases from 600 to 900 is 800 computers divided by 300 cars, or 2.67 computers per car. The opportunity cost of increasing the number of cars from 900 to 1,000 is 1,200 computers minus zero computers, or 1,200 computers. The opportunity cost of each extra car as the number of cars increases from 900 to 1,000 is 1,200 computers divided by 100 cars, or 12 computers per car. Notice that the opportunity cost of an additional car increases as the economy produces more and more cars. Whenever the production possibility frontier is bowed and not straight, the opportunity cost of obtaining more of a good increases as the economy produces more of the good. The opportunity cost of another computer increases as we produce more and more computers because some resources are better suited for making computers and other resources are better suited in making cars.